hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones thank you guys for tuning in once again so i have a very interesting video for you guys by the title of this video you already know i'm about to tell you guys tips and tricks on how to make your perfume or your fragrances last longer so if this kind of video is what would interest you or you would like to know how to make your perfumes last longer on your skin or on your clothes then make sure you don't touch that down and keep on watching although we have a lot of different types of fragrances like we have the eau de toilette or we have the edps and we have the x-ray the perfume 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 and we have the like scented oil the longevity of these fragrances or these types of fragrances differs obviously edps would last longer than edts and extra perfumes will last longer than edps and scented oils would even last even longer than these other ones obviously the more stronger it is the more expensive these fragrances are but if you know that maybe you have edts in your in your collection and that's what you can afford i have some tips and tricks that can help you you know make the fragrances last longer normally edts last about like maybe five hours five to six hours depending on the kind of scent it is i hope it works for you because it actually works for me and i know from my research it has worked for a lot of people as well first of all you have to take a shower yes you have to take a shower please so take a shower normally i take a shower with a scented shower gel so it could be that the fragrance that you already own has its own shower gel or it could be the normal regular dove that we all know but yes use a scented shower gel because i kind of feel like of course they have fragrances included in them and obviously when you finish taking your bath you still have some residual scent left on your skin and so yeah i feel like that kind of already boosts your <laughs> boost your smell or your scent if that makes sense but yeah please take a shower with a scented shower gel and then the next thing on my list is after you come out of the shower you have to moisturize so you moisturize you can use any regular moisturizer but to improve the longevity of your fragrance you should use a scented moisturizer it could be a moisturizer that already is like if your fragrance has its moisturizer you can use that it's like you're building a layer so foundation is the shower gel and then the next thing online is the moisturizer moisturize your skin because it's very important you know that perfumes actually adhere more to an oily skin than a dry skin so it's very 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 important that you moisturize and if you moisturize with a you know with a scented moisturizer it could be it could even be shea butter but then i know that there are a lot of ones i have from dove i don't know the rituals the rituals i don't remember the brand but there are a lot of them in the market so you just have to check which one you actually like which one you want to smell like you know and then use that and make sure that it's actually moisturizing i'm not saying that you should go and buy any how moisturizer just because you want the fragrance you also have to check if it does the job it has to moisturize your skin obviously the next thing should be your antiperspirants but and i know that a lot of antiperspirants have nice scents to it and you know the funny thing is not everybody likes perfumes right so if you take these steps like you know shower gel moisturizer antiperspirant you see that you don't even have any kind of body odor or any kind of foul smell it actually leaves you smelling even if you don't spray perfume you still leave the house smelling fresh and smelling good because of this foundation of scents and fragrances that you have built up from scratch yeah that's why I, I say these steps are very very important if you want to have a nice smell or a nice scent and then if you're going to top it off with a fragrance then it's going to even make you last longer and um, make your fragrances last longer rather these are very specific details because some people react to different kinds of antiperspirants so normally I use either the, I use any want to be honest i could use a dove i could use rexona right now i use a dove and a dove has like different aromas or different um fragrances smell or whatever i don't want to say it's not flavors now yeah aromas <laughs> different scents different scents yeah that's the word after the moisturizer i usually also use a body oil you can use the baby oil the johnson and johnson baby oil or if you have like a specific kind of lot of oils body oils in the market so you can just check out which one is good for your skin or if you already have one that you're using then that's fine mix your moisturizer with a body oil because you're trying to avoid a dry skin you know some moisturizers moisturize there and then but then after a while your body tends to get dry or ashy 
that's because it's not as the moisturizer is not as thick and long lasting on your skin but once you top it off with a body oil it makes your skin not dry so it keeps your skin moisturized for a very long time so yeah i say after your moisturizer try to use a body oil as well but then in this weather i know it could be very very hot you can use a lightweight moisturizer instead of something very thick so instead of using maybe like the neutrogena you could use like the body shop body shop yogurt moisturizer i think there are lots of them there and they smell really really good personally i think i have the body shop moringa body yogurt if that's what it's called i'm just going to insert a picture on how it looks and that one is lightweight and it smells really good very very good it moisturizes but of course it doesn't last the moisturizer is not moisturizing enough you know so normally if i'm going out maybe somewhere that i know i'm going to stay out for a very long time i usually top it off with a body oil that will just at least to areas that i know i'm going to spray my perfumes on because the weather is very very hot and i know how it can get when like it's really hot and even with the body oil like i said earlier you should focus more on the areas that you, you know you're going to spray your perfumes and these areas are known as the pulse areas so usually behind your ears you know inside your elbows your wrists um your wrists inside your wrists don't ever rub it not nah, do not rub your fragrances because you destroy the molecules apparently so do not rub your fragrances when you spray one you spray here you spray one you spray here you spray one you spray here so your cleavage is also a very nice place when it comes to the oil body oil concentrate on these areas even your behind your your knees your pop it up i don't want to give you medicine term medical terms now but yeah um behind your knees those areas as well normally i would also say your thighs your thighs should be moisturized so focus on the areas that you know you're going to spray your perfumes i would also say your belly button as well like your abdomen the nape of your neck you should also focus your moisturizer there or your body oil yeah so these are the areas that i said focus your body oil because if you if you're not going to rub it like generally on your whole body just make sure that this pulse points are actually moisturized but you can also top these areas with like a scented fragrance body lotion you know all this like victoria's secret body mist actually has body lotion as well if you're going to spray like a victoria's secret bare vanilla for instance as your body mist and you have the bare vanilla body cream you can actually layer these areas with your bare vanilla body cream if it's too much because of the hot weather you can just use your bare vanilla body cream and your body oil which takes me to my next point you have to use a body mist a body mist just makes you feel relaxed feel fresh this is like your smell this is like your in this is how you smell your in i don't know how to explain this is your inner smell if you get what i mean but like the body mist just makes you smell very fresh so even if you're not even going to spray your perfume you still go out smelling good regardless because you have done the necessary steps before now so make sure you have your body mist and concentrate again on the pulse point remember you have already laid the foundation with your body oil with your moisturizer with your body lotion on this pulse area so behind your ears once again i also spray like here because i know that the carotid artery is actually here and there's a lot of blood flow going on here it kind of keeps it warm so i always spray here on my neck this the two sides of my neck behind my ears i spray my elbows my elbows obviously my armpit so i don't spray it directly into my armpit because sometimes it could burn so i don't always go there i just leave that place for the antiperspirant on my shoulders as well and also in my cleavage because i want a very nice smell remember sometimes some perfumes that you spray they don't project as far so is this inner places like for instance your cleavage or even behind your ears is for close contact so imagine someone comes to hug you or someone comes to greet you they might not smell you from afar but when they come to greet you they smell you know when they're even talking to you and you come close just because you're here like the way you maybe you're expressing yourself and you're talking you are talking and then the smell you know i don't know do you understand what i'm trying to say but yeah before i leave the house that's the last thing i do i must spray a fragrance before i leave the house because i feel like the longer i stay at home the longer the fragrance starts changing and evaporating on my skin once again i'm just going to re do a recap and just let you guys know make sure you take your shower shower with a scented shower gel it could be your perfume that already has its equivalent shower gel whichever one pleases you but just make sure that the shower gel smells nice and then when you step out of the shower please moisturize your skin okay you could use a lightweight moisturizer because it's really lightweight it might not last on your skin top it off with a body oil so use a lightweight moisturizer and a body oil body oil could be literally anything it could be a normal body oil it could be the johnson and johnson baby body oil that's what i use actually and make sure you focus on the pulse point areas do not leave out your thighs 
so focus your body lotion or your body oil on these areas because this is you laying the foundation for the fragrance now the next thing is your antiperspirant do not forget your antiperspirant your body mist your body mist is what would give you your actual scent do you understand because this is not your act this is not your perfume this is the main the main scent like i said before if you have a body lotion that is equivalent to the body mist you could use both of them together then you spray your body mist at the pulse point areas body mist doesn't last that long but it has some residual scent after a long period of time if you don't have body mist even zara edt perfumes are actually very good some of them are really really good and after that um yeah you're done you just need to spray your perfume and i don't sometimes i say spray on your clothes because i think that perfumes last longer on clothes depending on the kind of perfume that you also spray if you're wearing a, a white outfit do not please do not spray a perfume that has a brown color like the juice is brown on you it's gonna stain so be very careful if you have you know that contrast just spray on your skin you know spray it on the areas that you know that okay yeah these are areas that i know that my perfume will last longer but if it's something that's very clear and it's not going to show or you're wearing a colored outfit then you can go ahead and just spray on your clothes because it lasts longer on clothes perfumes last longer on clothes whatever rocks your boat really i don't like to force things on people but once you go through these steps i guarantee you your perfume is going to last even longer i hope my tips and tricks were very helpful i hope you take the initiative and the effort you put in the extra effort to start smelling good because it's very very important my ladies and gentlemen it's very important to smell good it boosts your confidence remember i know you like when you smell other people that smell good so please do the same for yourself okay now thank you guys for watching this video and i will come up with more perfume or fragrance ideas i know a lot of people have been asking to see my fragrance collection i'm working on that i'm working on that and i will try to get it to you guys as soon as possible thank you guys for sticking with me and for watching this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button once again like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones and i will see you in my next one